It's Thursday, February 7th. I'm Wayne Moore. This is Evening Update. At the top of the news, it looks more like weeks rather than days before traffic will flow again along Highway 97 between Peachland and Summerland. Crews are now beginning constructing a detour along Callan Road just below the slide site. However, that will take several days and will only accommodate one lane in either direction. Ministry officials had hoped to reopen the highway itself Wednesday, but a large crack 10 to 15 meters above the current slide forced crews to abandon that work. While motorists continue to look for routes around the slide, the Ministry of Transportation says there are no plans in place to put in a permanent alternate paved route. The, the detour routes here are not ideal by any stretch of the imagination. So whether it's looking at some of the options that are there and whether, uh, you know, whether there's better choices we could use for, for detours should that occur in the future. But in the, at this point, the second, uh, the second open on the highway is not in the cards. Callan Road, seen here below the highway, is off the table. It is potentially in the debris field of another slide. So for, that, for the same reason the highway is closed, Callan Road is not an option. With snow in the forecast, extra equipment has been assigned to maintain a detour on a forest service road. Up to 10 centimeters is expected to fall by Friday evening on the 201 forest service road. A spokesman for MOTI says extra equipment will be plowing and sanding the road if necessary. Drivers are reminded to travel with caution as the route does not normally experience this high volume of traffic. Sometimes police need a little help to get their man. In this case, that help came in the form of Central Okanagan Search and Rescue. A man Kosar rescued from the bottom of a cliff near the KVR trestles had been trying to evade police. Officers attempted to arrest the 50-year-old Kelowna resident on the 4,000 block of Gordon Drive about 1.30 a.m. when he fled in a vehicle. He was tracked to a steep, snowy ravine near the trestles in Myra Canyon, where he was found suffering from injuries. That's when Kosar was called in. After posting its third quarter financial results Thursday, ICBC now on track to lose $1.18 billion during the 2018-2019 fiscal year. The Crown Corporation posted an $860 million loss for the first nine months of the year, which Attorney General David Eby blames largely on escalating costs of settling personal injury claims. Eby says these costs have risen by 43% in the past five years, reaching $3.67 billion in 2018 alone. More people fatally overdosed in our province last year compared with 2017, despite efforts to combat the province's public health emergency, that according to the coroner. Illicit overdose deaths increased to 1,489 in 2018, slightly higher than the 1,486 deaths recorded the year previous. But it's also said last year's total is likely to go higher as death investigations continue. Samantha Sewell knows all too well the sting of a bully's actions. Growing up with speech impediments, Sewell was often the target of taunts from her classmates. She rose above the teasing and hurtful words to win several beauty pageants and has become an anti-bullying advocate. Sewell from Vernon, not in school anymore, but she is not beyond the reach of a bully's harmful taunts. Sewell now being cyberbullied by an unknown person calling themselves Frank Castle, which is the name of a Marvel character. Sewell said the bullying contains comments about her pageants, herself, and her family. RCMP say they're investigating an alleged assault at an elite athletes club that trains minor hockey players in North Vancouver. Police say they received details of an alleged incident at the North Shore Winter Club on January 27th. They say they're taking statements from players of the minor hockey club, coaches, guardians and parents. They're saying nothing else. Castanet reported back in December that the popular Canadian Forces Snowbirds will be back at the 2019 Peach Fest. Now the festival is confirming that, as well as announcing that the Skyhawks aerial parachute team will be performing. The Skyhawks are Canada's only military parachute demonstration team. Both will perform August 7th when, presumably, it'll be a bit warmer. 
Speaking of weather, periods of snow forecast for Thursday evening. Accumulations up to 2 centimeters. Lows minus 10. Flurries Friday with periods of snow in the evening. Highs to minus 5. More snow expected on Saturday. Coming up tonight and tomorrow, an engineer talks about the Summerland slide. And it's going to be a cold and snowy bike to work day Friday. For details on these and the rest of the day's news, keep it here at castanet.net. For Castanet News, I'm Wayne Moore.